So Larry Hogan, the governor of Maryland says, absolutely devastated to learn of this tragedy in Annapolis. Yeah, easy to say afterwards, super easy. Five dead, uh, the press attacked. Larry Hogan has an A minus rating from the NRA. In other words, the NRA loves Larry Hogan. Great job, way to block all the gun laws. Now, uh, Larry Hogan couldn't block some of them because they were uh, put into place before him in Maryland. So that uh, he is not in favor of banning uh, automatic weapons uh, or assault weapons. Uh, but luckily, Maryland has that ban anyway. Uh, but Hogan didn't want it, Hogan didn't want it. So, and then uh, tragedy after tragedy, and Hogan pretends to be a moderate. And it's working relatively well in Maryland, people are tricked, deluded into thinking that he's a moderate. Meanwhile, the NRA is like, atta boy, atta boy, Larry Hogan. And why? But he tries to block the gun legislation as much as humanly possible. Then after the massacre in Florida, he comes out and goes, well, I mean, we should spend more on uh, uh, school security. Okay, great, what, what do you wanna do? You wanna ban guns from schools? No, armed resource officers, just like Trump. Oh, you wanna put more guns into schools? Well, I'm gonna spend money, and you're gonna spend money to buy more guns from gun manufacturers. That'll turn your NRA score into an A plus. So, uh, well, I'm kind of in favor of uh, domestic violence victims uh, being protected. That's already in the book, it's already, it's already proposed over and over and in Maryland. So it's just the tiniest little, little proposals so you can go, I'm a moderate, I'm a moderate. No, you're not, no, you're not. <laughs> you, you, you do a lot of nice little tricks on disagreeing with Trump around the edges when it almost never matters. But the NRA thinks you're not a moderate, they think you're awesome. Way to make sure there isn't any effective gun control in Maryland. So the money in politics swamps our politicians. 93% of Americans want federal background checks, over 80% of gun owners want it, over 70% of NRA uh, members want it, but the gun manufacturers do not want it. In fact, in the state of Maryland, when they were considering banning bump stocks, the very, very minimum that you could do, that allows you to fire the weapons incredibly uh, fast, and that's what was used in the Vegas massacre, the worst massacre in modern American history. What did the NRA do in Maryland? They sent their lobbyists to say, no, no, the, uh, the law is overly broad. It might affect the ergonomic uh, status of some of the guns. Oh, I'm sorry, am I bothering how you're handling the weapon and how cool it looks and how manly you feel when you hold a gun? And that's why we're not gonna ban bump stocks? And did Hogan fight like hell to get it out and make sure that it passes? No. Eh? A, A from the NRA, A, A minus, that's just, that's Larry Hogan in a nutshell. Oh, I'm a moderate, I got an A minus from the NRA. Now, if you are a moderate, you agree with 93% of Americans and you get an F from the NRA. But no, you don't. And so, by the way, Ben Jealous is running against him. He's a real progressive, he just won his primary. He was on a TYT Network just yesterday and he said, damn right I'd ban assault weapons. Of course he would. Because some people actually care about their citizens. Instead of giving BS thoughts and prayers afterwards. Trump talking about thoughts and prayers, spare your thoughts and prayers. What we could have used is you not saying over and over again that the press is the enemy of the people. What we could have used in Maryland and across the country is gun control. But we didn't get it from Republican politicians because they are bought and sold by the gun manufacturers who run the NRA. And so Larry Hogan afterwards saying he's devastated. No, we could have used your devastation before, before the shooting so that we could have prevented the shooting. So every Republican who takes money from the NRA has blood on their hands. They get paid to make sure that there's more weapons, they are unrestricted and that the rest of us die. But hey, I got a campaign contribution, you must be so proud. Wolf-pack.com, get the money out. If you don't get the money out, we're literally dying in the streets because of these corrupt, corrupt politicians. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.